My name is Dan Ahrens. I am the CEO of the Ahrens Company. We manufacture outdoor power equipment, which would mean uh, lawnmowers, snowblowers, chore products, utility vehicles. Growth for us has been in two forms. One is uh, acquisition. We've, we've done some nice acquisitions that have given us opportunity around the world. And then organic, we've done a lot of product innovation and we continue to bring out new products each year that have done, have done well in the last couple of years. The winter season has been very strong in the, the fall of 2011 and uh, it extended itself later in the season than normal or even than our plans. Uh, and we like to start our lawn production uh, up early in December and start shipping that in January. So we're, we're in this overlap period. And, um, and even, even last year we, we began our spring season with the tail end of summer production and the beginning of early snow production last year because demand was so strong. The Brilliant High School approached uh, the Aarons Company and asked if we were interested in a project where we took what was traditionally known as shop class when I grew up and turned it into an engineering and design class and would we collaborate with them and help them with the investment. It's a significant investment, $1.2 million, uh, but it built a school CAD systems, equipment to make projects and products. And, uh, but, it, but it really, it's, it's less about the assets and the building and the bricks and the mortar. It's more about the teaching and the skills of uh, the Brilliant High School curriculum there and a guy named Steve Meyer who runs the program along with uh, the administrative support from the high school. We saw the opportunity as a great way to develop young talent and getting them interested in manufacturing and engineering and have them do it in a world where it's controlled with Aaron's company in the Brilliant High School. So it's, uh, it's been a great collaboration and I'd love to see it go around the state of Wisconsin. I think that could differentiate us from the rest of the states.